Hi everybody, it is Charlotte with Simply Home with Charlotte and we are going to go ahead and get started with trying to organize these bookcases. I have already taken out the, as I'm filming this right now, I'll show it to you though, but I've already taken out the school supplies from here, office supplies from the drawers. There is still stuff in the bottom drawer over here that is just a junk drawer right now and I don't think I need to go through that right now but I'm gonna try to pull the baskets out and try to put those into the drawers and then start making the shelves look pretty in a way and kind of display some of the, the pieces around that I don't want the cats to get to. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle all the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it For those of you who are new, my name is Charlotte, I live in the Houston area, I have a regular job outside of YouTube, and it is just me and my cats around to get up and tackle all of the household and yard work chores on a weekly basis. I encourage you to subscribe and hit the notification bell to join me weekly for my weekly reset clean with me's and any other lifestyle videos I do post. I want to thank all of my returning viewers and subscribers, I am truly grateful for your continuing support. Remember I was laughing In all the photos that you took But now it looks like acting Like we were fiction in a book Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad and trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it I've been going around and pulling some of the stuff from the cat, the bookcases that are in the front room, library area, and pulling them in here. I've also pulled some things out like my little Hummel figurines that will be going into the cabinet. Two of them, these figurines need to have some um, surgery. She's missing a beret. Another one's missing a head. So I need to work on doing that. I pulled some other things out from the cabinet. I have lowered the shelf on this one and I need to do the same thing on that. I am one of those in my mind. I need to have things with symmetry and the shelves need to be the same height. It's just the way my brain works and it makes, it actually makes everything look nicer in my opinion. And I know a lot of designers also think that same thing as symmetry. 
So I am going to be working on trying to get everything spaced out enough. I am also, the reason why with the figurines, I wanted to bring them in, it's because there's white and clear dishes in here. So bringing in a little bit of color and not a lot of color. So I do have some plants. And this might be another Ikea run, but I have them currently in little tins, white tins. But when I was at Ikea, I saw these and I, little things, basically I can take the plant and throw it in there and it adds a little bit texture and color to bring in the brown in so it's not right up against the white and it just makes it look a little bit nicer in here. I, but I still need to work on some stuff and I only have three of these like plants. That's where I'm thinking maybe I need to do an Ikea run again. Not for a while though. You're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless. I just super glued the two Hummel figurines that I have that were broken, the braid fell off, and that one nearly super glued my fingers. I mean, they're super glued on my fingers right now, but nearly super glued the fingers to the figurine. Wouldn't be the first time that this has happened within the last couple days where I super glued myself to something and I had to rip my fingers off. So, fun things. Uh, the other one is this little one right here, and his head fell off at some point. I don't know when it happened, if it happened when it was at my grandmother's. But these are some of the things that I collected after my grandmother passed away. I She loved her Hummel figurines, so some of these we bought for her over time. So I was going to bring them back into the house because that's just, they're things that we bought her and she enjoyed them. So I'm probably going to put the little 
boy that I just fixed. I'm going to put it into the front room on one of those bookcases because there are five of them and, you know, matchy-matchy type thing. And um, I didn't quite do that all with the cabinets. I tried to make some of it look kind of the same. And this bottom cabinet right here is not how I quite like the bottom shelf of this cabinet. So the soup terrain that is right here, that usually sits out on the table. So that will just, the actual like platter part of it doesn't fit anywhere because it's so big. And so it's so it's too wide to actually lay down on its side and trying to get it upright. I had to move the books over, the cookbooks over and put the soup terrain on it, which is not necessarily how I quite wanted it. But all the other shelves are pretty much how I want them to be, minus the four figurines that I want to add in. And then uh, there's some other things that I will be either getting rid of, like I think I'm going to get rid of this wine glass thing because the, the jewels keep popping off, which I could super glue. I don't, I have no need for it, so I can get rid of it. And then I will probably put the 10 plant holders somewhere else because I may be able to use them at some point. Just right now, I'd like to have the little bit of wicker in here and a little bit of brown just to bring because it's so stark white. And so just to add a little bit of color. The crucifix, I probably, I mean, I could take down the painting that my sister painted and put it there, but I may actually be able to put it over in the family room. So that's what I'm going to do first. And if not, then I will figure out if it can fit over a doorway, then I might put it over a doorway or something like that. But for now, we're almost done and we can get these back together and I can show you an after of what the shelves look like. And I forgot to do a before, I think, but oh well. You guys will have seen it. <laughs>I'm joined with by Jack, my cat, one of my cats, and we are going to be working on the bookcases that are here on in my front room. This is the room that you walk in the front door and it's the first room that guests see. So I basically when I put the bookcases on this wall right here when I did my front room 
refresh. I just kind of threw the books on there. No real method. I just pulled them out of the boxes and threw them up on the bookcases. And then the top two shelves and up on the top of the bookcases are just basically where I threw the, the like breakable stuff so that way the cats can't jump up there and actually knock them off because I have wild cats. Let's just put it that way. What? Oh, okay. And he doesn't like to be held very much. But so I'm going to be tackling these bookcases today and really and truly the order that I'm going to do the books, I think I'm just going to, because it's pretty much the way it is right now, where it's reds, do the Roy B. Jib heading, heading down and then start back over there wherever I stop off and then get around to organizing the top couple shelves. So let me put the cat down and get you closer to where you can see me working in here. As I got into here, I noticed that there were a lot of colors that were over in that other bookcase. I think what I ended up doing was just not taking them out by color, but then tried to fit them into the box. <laughs> so all the colors got mixed up. The reds and the oranges pretty much stayed together, pretty much. There were some scattered here and there. But I've had to go into the other bookcase to get all the other colors. And so that's what I've been doing. It's been getting up and going, getting all, all the green ones. Now I have all the blue ones that are right here and behind me. So I am going to make some more room to spread out some more because I have books all over the place. And a lot of them with black spines that are going to be going over there on that bookcase. So, and I'm not doing the traditional Roy B. Jib. I'm doing my own take of it, but you get the point once you look at it. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down. Like a sparrow with broken wings But now I shine With your reflection on me I'm getting back up on
on the floor over there but I think I'm just gonna use them to decorate but I might not hmm. anyways I am now gonna start with decorating the shelves up there and yeah let me go ahead and pull you back so that way you can see me doing that. I have this little music box from Switzerland. It plays Edelweiss. So it has nothing in there but my old security thing. But yeah. I am going to go ahead and put this over there by the music stuff because it does have the violin and the horn and the music. The bookcases and there are some things that I just couldn't get quite right and one of them would be the bowl that's up there it may eventually end up on the dining on the coffee table at some point or up on the the piano there's two figurines i forgot about over there sorry random thoughts uh but i'm happy with how these are right now so we will go ahead and 
show you close-ups of the befores and afters so you can kind of see how they changed and uh, yeah I'm done uh, it's I'm glad to have them somewhat organized I there's holiday decorations in here so eventually as the holiday decorations go away I will have to reorganize everything but that's to be expected so let's go ahead and do close-ups of everything I hope everybody enjoyed this video of me organizing my bookcases in my front room. I have been staring at these for the longest time trying to figure out how I wanted to organize them. It's been several months since I've redone this room and they've just kind of been sitting there in that I have no idea stage and finally got to the point where I'm like I just can't do it. I need to just take some time and organize and do all of that. So I finally have done that and I feel so much better. There are things that they're holiday decorations, so I will be removing them when the holiday is over, so that will cause me to have to rearrange the top two shelves. Perfectly fine with that. And eventually the cuckoo clock may go somewhere else. The dead spider plant needs to be taken outside. Uh, but, you know, I'll get there eventually, so it doesn't bother me that it's up there right now. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you are notified every single time I post a video. I post Clean With Me weekend resets on Saturday so that way you can get up and clean along with me. And on Wednesdays, I've been trying to post just a miscellaneous DIY lifestyle type video. So I hope you will join me on one of my next videos. Thank you everybody and have a wonderful day. Bye everybody.